So it's so, okay, yeah. So when when I was saying this, right? When I was saying this this whole conversation, right? I I do believe that like tournaments, offline tournaments, are truly in danger, cause like, uh, I think LK quote tweeted it saying, um, let me see what he said for sure. He said no, no, no. Better online just means better practice and more opportunities for people who can't travel, right? Even though like this is also true. I mean, both things, both things here can be true. I, I would say that, like, I would agree. Both things can be true. But if you're able to get, like, better competition, more people entering your tournaments, bigger prize pool, you know, the convenience of your home, like, you can't beat the convenience of your home. That's that's incredible, right? And those people that can't travel at all, either they don't have their passport, they're in a country where they can't travel, whatever, you know? They, they, don't, they can't get their visa in time or whatever the case is, right? But they can play Street Fighter 6 from their crib and place consistently, you know, from online. And I don't even want to say that people that play... I, I would even... Yeah, I wouldn't even say people that play from online aren't good. Aren't good players offline. You know, you have your examples like, like Punk, Hook, right? You have your examples of players who can perform online and also perform offline at the same time and still be nasty at said fighting game. Hakari, yeah, Hakari is another one. We're not dropping combo breaker for online tournaments. I'm not saying that you that offline tournaments are gonna stop existing, but I am saying that is it is being threatened. The camaraderie of offline events will keep the offline alive. You don't get that online. Yes, like yes, shade. I, I like I agree. I do agree with a lot of these things. I I definitely do agree. <clears throat> Look at MGO and COD Halo. We could always play those games competitively, but most fans had a dream of competing offline because of the hype and media of the place. Like, yeah, Hema, I, I agree with that as well. I All these points, I, I agree with them. I agree with a lot of these points. But my reasoning is like, after a while, like, people are going to realize that even though it's a meme, per se, right, that going net negative is sometimes not even worth. For the, for the average Joe Schmo, who... Who wants to go and see and spectate? Offlines will still be valid, right? There's, there's something for them to do. But for the people who are want to compete crazy and they literally cannot travel, the online is going to be better for them. And now they have the outlet where they can actually play. So those people, those those, those super. <coughs> think, think about it like this. Think about it like this. Think about it like this. It's like those NBA players. I'm sure you guys probably heard the story or whatever sport you guys are into where they'd be like, nah, yeah, yeah. Um, not nah, uh, T J from the block. Yeah. That man is better than me at ball. That man J is better than me from the, at, at the park. He's better. He's better than me, but I have more resources for me to put myself out there and have more exposure. So I got drafted instead of him. Cause he didn't get that exposure. You feel me? So J from the block who's better than me. Never got to shine. Because he didn't have that outlet. But now Jay from the block is able to perform online and show what's up. Because now he's able to have that exposure. And I think those players matter. What do you guys think about that? Um, No matter how good offline is, unless you get a huge amount... You suffer losses. Bump talks about it all the time because he wants to be transparent and open. Exactly. Watch Project Go have online tournaments with bigger prize pool with future offline events. Like that. Like this video of Pred showing me like multiverses having 60k online tournaments. It's crazy. It's a seven event series. What's that? Well, what's the what's the what's the math on this? What's the math on this? 8.5k 8 a tournament 8600 8, a tournament that's od 8.6k prize pool per tournament that's kind of od i'm not gonna lie that's od that's that's od ssj that's kind of od i know a few fellas not from the nba not saying that NBA material, but they always say, bro, if I had a chance to play AU and get noticed, I'll definitely definitely be somewhere in NBA. That's what I'm saying, Black. Like, some people just need exposure. That's really what it is. 
I know you guys had that that one cousin, that one guy you seen at the laundromat that was washing everybody, washing everybody. But he didn't know about a tournament scene. So he never pulled up to a tournament scene. He finds out about the tournament scene years later when he's out of his prime, when he has kids, when he's not playing anymore. Now it's too late for him. Now he don't have the same time and dedication he could put into the same passion, the same level of company. Like he can't do that anymore because he didn't have that exposure. But me being average, getting bodied by him, 10 and 2, going 10 and 3 versus him. But I knew about the scene and I'm able to perform at the scene and do this and do that. I'm able to get there and be like, damn, like this guy is nasty. Danny from the block, Danny from the block is kind of nasty. But I'm never going to say or willingly admit like, nah, yo, I know my boy Jay is nasty. He's crazy with it. No, nah, I want to keep the glory for myself. Some people will be petty like that. Some people will be like, nah, I want to keep the glory for myself. I'm never going to tell him. And then there's some people who will tell, no, 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 I got a homeboy and let me bring him. You know, some people want to just keep getting that, their earnings check. It happens. I would agree, but I don't think it's, it will stop offline from happening. It won't. Kid Vision, it won't stop offline from happening, but there's more hesitancy. Or is that even a word? You're more hesitant to, to like, damn, do I want to pay this $100 to go to this event when I can just pay 50 bucks to go to enter this online bracket real quick and stay in my crib? You know, like that's real. That's a real thing. Am I going to pay a hundred bucks to enter the tournament? $200 for this plane ticket, food, blah, 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 blah. Versus let me pay this $50 real quick. Enter this bracket. If I win, I win. Cool. If I lose, I lose. But I'm right here. Like now, if you're making the argument of to like, let me make spend this hundred dollars to go chill with my friends, chill with these people hang out with the boys, that's valid. You know, if you got the money for that, that's valid, that's fine. You wanna, yo, 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 Zena's pulling up to Evo. Yo, Zena, what's the word, bro? I'm trying to go to Evo. Yeah, bro, I'm gonna be there. Now this $100 that I'm spending to go to Evo is valid. Now, now, now I'm like, damn, I'm gonna with Zena, bro. I've been talking to Zena online for like 12 months, you know, two years type beat. And I finally get to meet my boy that I've been playing against all this time. Like, now it's more worth. And those scenarios is way more worth. Because not only you're going for the competition, but you're also going because now you got people. I'm blushing right now? Stop. <laughs> you can argue that someone who had the passion and drive in that example would seek the explosion tournament scenes, though, no? Yeah. Like that same person. Like, okay. Let's say he for example. Right. Let's say you're not here and we both live in New York. Right. And we're playing Street Fighter 6 and the online is great and we're playing crazy, right? I'm like, damn. I wonder if Hemar is gonna pull up to my to this local. I wonder if Hemar's gonna pull up to local today so I can finally meet him and smoke him offline. Right? And then Hemar, you don't pull up and I'm there by myself. Because you Hemar said, Damn, am I really gonna take this two hour drive to, to this local or this one hour drive to this local? Nah. <laughs> but then on the other side, there's those people that would take that hour job. They would, they would take that two hour job and pull up to the local. It's like, what I'm saying is, is that the online, it gives you more leeway to be like, nah, I don't got to pull up to the local. I get the same results from my house. I could pull up to the local and have the same results offline, have the, have, it is an argument of, I could go offline, have way more fun, blah, 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 have the same results, or I could talk crap on Discord with my friends, play this tournament online, and have the same results. You know? That's what I'm saying. It's like, the convenience factor is too strong. It's too, too strong. And I think, like, like <laughs> I think Multiverse is showing that point to a, to a degree. I think Multiverse is showing that. The fact that they're having a 60k price pool or 8.5k price pool for these games online is showing the fact that they'd rather their players play uh, play online. They would prefer playing having their players play. Or maybe they got money like that. I don't know. Maybe they have money like that, and they could do both offline and online.
More resources is really good, but exposure will always come to those who are willing to seek it. I also will say that my homey setup. My, I will also say that my home setup is better than the major setup as well. Yeah, like how many majors have you guys been to that don't have audio? Come on. I don't think any platform is threatened. The stuff is just straight into the scene in general. Mm, I don't know. I, I think I, I think I disagree. I think either one suffers or the other one suffers. I don't think they both can thrive together. I don't think they both can be at a max. I don't, I don't think they both can be at a max capacity. I don't think so. I think either one strives and the other one hinders a bit or like or vice versa. It's either one or the other, and IMO. In my opinion, I think it's either one or the other. Yo, what's going on, Rice? Welcome to the stream. What's going on? We're talking about online tournaments and offline tournaments. Because I put out this tweet here. Yo, Rice, I see you, bro. Thank you for the follow. I put out this tweet here, Rice. I said, now that Street Fighter 6 beta is over and the net code being as great as it was. Wait, let me read this game. Now that Street Fighter 6 beta is over and the netcode being as great as it was, do you think that Street Fighter 6 and other future fighting games with great netcode pose a threat to offline tournaments? That was that was my like I wanted to have a conversation about it. Yeah, that's the topic essentially. Will online tournaments hurt offline tournaments? Yeah, that is that is you know what? I'm gonna make this into a YouTube video. It's time. We need we need some YouTube videos. So make sure you guys hit up the YouTube. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. There we go. Bob. I'll make that I'll make that in, I'll make this segment into a YouTube video later.